our pad here today I am in my friend Gail's backyard hog heaven hog from heaven <laughs> guys Gail's garden has grown so much in the past what about a year yeah less than a year since we've done the video right yeah. like six months yeah and right now is a perfect time because her hog plums or yellow hog plums are in season so guys we're gonna start the video right here and we're gonna pick some hog plums so if you guys remember our little escapades in Jamaica hog plum is one of my favorite fruits that's from Jamaica and I see some that one is green let's get some ripe ones I see some ripe ones up here let's get a couple ripe plums so we have we have two different kind of plums they have the yellow coat plum and the red coat plums and they're also known as hog plums and Gail has the most delicious plum, so you want to check out a couple of plums so I, we can show you guys what it's like inside. Then we're going to go look at the E.T.O.T. apple and our naysberry and all the other stuff. Let me try it. Let me help you out a little bit taller. I'm a little bit taller. Alright, let's get that. Do you want to get this one too? For you? So we have one for each of us and a green one for me to take home. <laughs> one for here. Oh. So Gail, how long? Oh look at all these green ones. We have to pick up these green ones after. How old are these plums? One for the Ooh. camera lady. Oh guys, look at this. Mm. Which one camera woman want? The bigger one. The bigger one? Oh, this one is bigger. All right, so guys, look at this. This is a Jamaican hog plum. Mm. Oh my goodness, girl. Mm -hmm. This is delicious. Mm. Mm. First pickings for the season. First pickings? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to take this one home. Gail, how old? Remind us, how old is this hog plum tree? If you look at the bottom. I think about three years. Th three, guys, three years old. And did you buy the tree or? No, I just somebody just broke off a limb. Wow! And I stuck it in the ground and it went to this. What, from breaking off a limb and sticking it in the ground three years ago. And look at the size. Look at the size of this hot plum tree. I have, uh, I have a yellow cone hot plum tree that I stuck in the ground, but mine is still tiny. But then again, I live in Central Florida. We're in South Florida right now, so the weather's a lot better for these plums. But I love these plums because they can literally grow a plum stick. And look at how many plums she has. And Gail, you're saying this is not even as much as they had last year. Nothing in there. Wow. But you can still see she has literally hundreds of plums. So let's move on. Let's see what else you have. So Gail, what is this beauty? And tell us how long you've had this one in the ground. This is a lychee. Mm. And I've had it. Mm. I don't know if it's quite two years. Not possible. What do you mean two years? This is about two years. Two years in the ground, guys. And I sit. Wait, what am I looking at there? No, those aren't lighting. Guys, look at the size of this tree. Two years in the ground, and it is huge. So I know you're going to be getting probably thousands of lychees out of this. I know. Yeah, mm. And the trees are so green, so healthy. Tell us what do you use to fertilize these trees? Um, I use like a, the fish emollient. Mm, fish emollient. Okay. Um, and that's about it. So you use the fish emollient, really just mix it with water, and just mix it with water, throw it on the roots. Mm. Um, and that's 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 the only thing I use. Mm. Mm. Alaska fish emollient. Well, boy. And there's a similar tree in the back, but mm -hmm. long gun is different. Okay, let's go check out your long gun. Okay, look at this. I see something different with the leaves here. What is this? These leaves have like a bump on them. Yeah, those, I have to cut them off. Okay. That's some disease that come from China. Oh. Yeah. That okay. affects some of the lychee. Oh, so we have so, to cut it off soon. Yeah. Okay. Cut it off. Let's go check out the long gun back here. This long gun was just put in the ground last year. Wow. Mm. You have some magic soil because for it to grow that much, that's at least what? Probably 10 feet? 
Yeah. Probably 10, 12 feet in the air and it was only put in the ground last year. And I know it would have been a lot wider if it wasn't so close to this, but the yes. fence yes. and the lychee are like blocking it. So you're gonna have long gun and lychee in the backyard. Yes, and in no time you're gonna be eating good. We're gonna be yeah. eating good. <laughs> Mm. All right, let's see what else, what, what else Gail has. So guys, this beauty here is Jamaican June Plum. You can see there's a whole bunch of blossoms coming out. And I've spoken about June Plums multiple times on my channel. What I love about June Plums is that it grows, it bears fruit almost year round. All throughout um, South, South Florida and Central Florida, we had a hard freeze. So I know you probably lost some June Plums. Um, I, I don't lose June plums, but when the first freeze comes, mm -hmm. the June plums stop growing. Oh. So you may as well just harvest what's on the tree, mm -hmm. take off the young ones mm -hmm. and give it a chance to build back up. So every year when the first freeze comes, yeah. I just take down all, I, I had to take off about 80. Wow, 80 plums? About 80 plums that I had to take off. It was then two big garbage bags. Wow. Where were um, my plums? Where was they're I? They're green. They're oh, the young okay. ones. But, can make and then I, I do cut them back. Yeah. Cut everything back. So it was, this tree was just sticks about a month ago. Wow. Okay. And within the month, that. it mm. became a green, If you come a little closer, tree. you can see they have different phases of blossoms. Look at this, guys. Different phases of blossoms. Plus, she has several flushes of plums all over. And when you think about it, this was just sticks a month ago, and she has a ton of blossoms and fruit everywhere. Everywhere there's tons of blossoms and fruit. June plum, guys, is a must-have fruit in your garden if you're in a tropical climate. And what is this beauty I see? I cannot this believe is... what this beauty is. It's one of our favorite fruits. I know Gail's probably Gail's favorite fruit of all. My favorite, that's for sure. It's so tell berry. us, how long has it been in the ground? This has been in the ground, I want to say, four years. Wow. Four and years. what is it? But it's a, it's growing from seed. It's not like... Um, this is growing from seed? It's a seed, yeah. You, you, seed. Pla you planted I didn't, it from seed? I didn't plant oh. it from seed, but the person that I bought it from um, told me it was grown from seed. Wow, so this was grown from seed, and I see a ton of blossoms coming out here can you guys guess before gail tells us let's look and see if we see it any more blossoms can you guys guess what this fruit is one of jamaica's absolute favorite fruits and we're going to show you the fruit right now and then we're going to tell you what it is so come this way there's a fruit over here and there is the beauty right there the naysberry so you guys see the big brown fruit right there? That is a Naysbury fruit. Or Nispero or Sapadillo, depending on what country you're from. And this is the one that I mentioned. It's like brown sugar on the inside. It's an absolute beautiful fruit. Absolutely delicious. And Gail, I can't believe, from seed, you already have fruit. That is amazing. Amazing, amazing. Then right next door, another Jamaican favorite. Jamaican apple, O-T-E-T -E apple. And this looks so healthy and so good. This tree is two years old. Girl. Mm. Two years old. This is a baby. You're mixing up two with 12 or 20. Mm. This is a baby. This tree grows like weed. How can this be two years old? Yeah. That is incredible. Well, well then you guys know it is it's true because you guys saw the first video I did at Gail and these were like a tiny trees then. And then look at these trees now. Just a matter of two years, a big OTT apple tree, and then we have all of these. We have something back there you want to show us? Yes, back here is the. I don't have any blossoms. Wait, right wait, now. wait a minute for them to catch up because they can't hear. I don't have well, mm -hmm. any blossoms right now, but this is. Um, I just put this in the ground last year, mm -hmm. and this is a uh, pomegranate. Yes, pomegranate. We call it ponga nothing, Jimmy. Wonderful. Any fruit yet? No, no. Too early. It keeps blossoming, but it's too young. It mm -hmm. loses the... Mm. So, hopefully soon. I need to dig up some of your dirt. <laughs> and take it to Bambi because your soil is incredible. And boy, look at all those ornamentals she has back there. These are different, what, gingers? Yeah, it's a, if you come in here, you'll see the, the bloom of 
ginger. It's like, it's what? Oh, I'm afraid. It's a white ginger. Mm. <laughs> it, it, if you look right here, you see where, where it is. All oh, right, up here. There it is, guys. That's what a white ginger looks like. And I know I dug up one from your garden when I was here a few months ago and I planted it. It died back, but I see it trying to come back. So, okay. Okay. hopefully, I get some white ginger soon. And, Gail, this is just such a beautiful jungle that you have created here. And, guys, Gail and I have been friends forever. And I can tell you, just five years ago, there was nothing in this backyard except for these two big mango trees. But Gail has truly created a little paradise, a little sitting area, and all of our favorite fruits and vegetables. And speaking of all of our favorite fruits, tell us about this mango tree here. This, this is mango a tree Julie, is loaded. A Saint Julian. A Julie mango tree. Wow. And Julie Mango is known as the princess of the mangoes up in Jamaica. The princess mango. <laughs> they said the king is what? Bombay. Bombay is the king. And they said what? Isinen is the queen. And then Julie is the prince, princess of the, of the mangoes. And then guys, look at our keep mango. Remember that keep mango taste test that I did? Um, I think it must have been a year ago. And guys, look at this. They're not quite as big as they were before because they're still very green but guys look at her mangoes her mangoes are lean it's okay it look like you didn't lose any mangoes a few weeks ago when they had the bad weather because your oh. mango tree is laden it's laden but trust oh, me i've lost about wow. 50 mangoes you lost about 50 wow but look at it you still have a lot man and julie mangoes normally don't bear this much mm -hmm. but your julie and your keep mangoes are laden so don't forget a sister don't forget your friend. <laughs> and then, guys, you saw this baby the last time we were here in October. It was eight months old and it already had fruit. And Gail, did you see the fruit? So Gail, let's see if we have any fruit today. And right here by our face. Yes, guys, we oh, have wow. a, um, a sour sap. Oh, that is wow. the beginning of a sour sap right mm. here. That's the beginning of the fruit. And right beside it, You'll see, here it is, is. the two blossoms coming. So Gail, you're getting some sauce up here. Nice, I didn't even notice that. Have you gotten any fruit at all yet, so far? No, last year I got about 20 um, blossoms that came out, but they didn't keep. So well, I'm hoping yeah. they keep this year. And this, the, the trees are a whole lot bigger now. It's probably big, big enough to sustain the fruit. Last year it was a brand new tree, eight months yes. old. So yeah, no, again, a, less than a two-year-old tree. What? Yeah, because I remember you planted it last year. Yeah. So that means it's really just over a year old. This is incredible, and I see quite a few blossoms coming out here. You have quite a few blossoms, and a, a good telltale that she has blossoms. You see these yellow things that are on the ground? Ooh. This is the petals of the blossoms Ooh. falling off when they get mature. So if you have a sour sap tree, you see these petals falling out, so falling thing. down. Look up because that means they have blossoms. And I see some more big blossoms over that side. Wow, really? Yep, yep, you have quite a few blossoms. Okay. All right. Then over here, you have, what is this? Another maize berry. Yeah. And guys, look at the blossoms everywhere. Oh my goodness, look at this, guys. Look, Gail, look at all these blossoms. What? And this is just up, guys. Look at the size space. Look how small the space is. It's like a two foot space right beside the, between our pathway and the fence so guys you see you can stick food in anywhere you don't have to say oh i only have two feet feet of space you can squeeze the fruit in squeeze it's it still in, guys. bearing it in. abundantly it's still bearing abundantly right in this small space she's gonna have her sour sap sweet sap nasberry lychee long gun everything in that small space Tomato. and your tomatoes okay yeah, this is an unusual one Let's see what we have here. What is what is this one called? Um, I don't know what kind of cherry tomatoes they are, you know, oh, but they are purple. They start wow. out purple and then they get red. So nice, that's where the coloring nice. comes from. Let's try one of these tomatoes. Let's try this tomato. All right. So here it is. So it starts out purple and turns red? Yeah. You guys, if you guys have seen this, the tomatoes start purple and it changed to red. I've never seen this before, but it looks good. So let's try it. Mmm, mmm. Oh, sweet. Sweet? Mm-hmm. 
Have you ever tried it? I just stick it in my salad. So mm, it's good. Mix up, mix up, and blend up. Nice, nice. So what else do we have here? I don't know what kind okay. of pepper it is today. I don't know what kind okay. of pepper it is. It's long. Okay. And red. Is it red? Yeah. It says scotch one and pepper. You sure yeah. it's not? It's, it's a cachucha. It's not scotchy though. It's not. It's um, cachucha. Oh. It tastes like scotch one and it's red and long. I don't know what it tastes like, but it's long and red and it comes down to a point. Oh, no, it's different then. I'll show you. Because it, it says I, scotch, I scotch one in the kitchen. Scotch one in. Okay. All right. And then here you have one of my favorite fruits. Mulberry here for the mm. camera lady. You can have a mulberry. You want to try it? Yep. Here, mulberry. I'm gonna see how you. Let me taste your mulberry compared to mine. My mulberries are still small. My tree is probably up, no, it's probably smaller than this. With mulberries, um, from what I understand, you cut it back. The more you cut it back, is the more it bears fruit. Mm. So I've been cutting mine back at least twice a year, and well, each time I get my god, not took the liberty of cutting mine back for mm, me without my permission. Nice. So. Yours tastes good, girl. Let me take another one. Ooh, that was sweet. Mm, yes, that was very, very sweet. good. Very good. Here's another one for you. One for you, one for me. No, you, you have. Mmm. Mmm. Very good. All right, girl. This is great. This is great. Your garden is looking awesome. I know you have some bananas. We'll check out the bananas on the way out. But I want to thank you very much for allowing us to walk through your beautiful garden. Your, your garden, you're doing amazing things. I think I need a, a pot to come harvest some of your soil and carry it up with me <laughs> but guys fish emulsion and another thing you didn't mention is the worm castings yes, yes her garden is like all worm castings literally every morning she can just come and scoop worm castings out she has so and many earthworms a lot worms. of earthworms so and that's really the basis of the good good the goodness here yeah so we can encourage earth earthworms into our gardens by adding a lot of organic material my garden is still brand new it's, it's still being built up but I do add earthworm cousins to my beds. So over the years, over the time, it will really build it up. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this. And till next time, go on out, plant a seed today, guys. You can see how much Gail planted just, what, two, some, some as little, less than two years ago. Yeah. And you see how abundant her fruits are and how big her plants are, guys. Plant a seed today. Let's start growing our own food. Let's eat this delicious organic food. And don't forget to share what you're growing and share with others. Till next time. Bye now. 